there is a plan that God has for you and for me and for everyone in this world, that God has a plan for us, and it's, a, and it's an amazing plan that he has for us. But I want to know today, do you know who you are and where you're going to spend eternity? The Bible tells us in 1 John, I love this, 1 John chapter 2, I'm going to read just a couple of verses here, 15 through 17. The Bible says in 1 John 2, 15, Do not love the world or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it is of the world. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. That's why I believe this is such a timely message, because this world is passing away. No, I don't believe that we are necessarily experiencing the end times right now, although I believe the end is coming. I believe the return of Jesus Christ is coming. It's, it, it's, it's at hand. It's, it's becoming closer and closer all the time. But the Bible says here that this world is passing away. You know, if you have something nice, like if you buy a nice car and you're from like the state where I grew up, Minnesota, and you drive that car all winter for a few winters, you will begin to see the decay and the rust that begins to set in on that car. You see decay and chaos in the world. This world is not getting better. It's beginning to decay. And it's decaying because it has, it, it also is fragile, just like you and I. And, and the life that we have is fragile. It's in a place of chaos and the reality is we're all going to pass away one day and it's so important to know who you are and where you're going where are you going to spend eternity the bible says here that he who does the will of god will abide forever friends you know sometimes we 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 put so much emphasis on trying to make this life that we have comfortable. We put so much emphasis on on trying to preserve the life that we have and making this life more comfortable. If you go to the grocery store, you'll notice as you walk through the aisles, you'll see entire aisles of, of, uh, uh, that are full of supplements and health products and, and different vitamins that you can use to be able to try to make yourself live longer. You go down the next aisle and you'll see an entire aisle of makeup that that women will use to to try to preserve the look of being young and looking young and feeling young. And you go to the next aisle and, and the next aisle is the medicine aisle and you'll see entire rows and rows of medicine and different drugs and different things that can try to help preserve your life. You see, the world is trying to preserve itself. The world is trying to delay the inevitable, but the reality is a hundred percent of us will face the inevitable one day. And I want to ask you today, are you ready for it? Do you know where you're going? Do you know what's going to happen when you pass from this life to the next? My friends, today you can know who you are and you can know where you're going.